So we start plan B. You little musher, we're everybody. Yeah, what is this quirk exactly? Foresight. I mean, I know it's mushrooms, but is, is that it? It's just that mushrooms appear? Mushrooms! <laughs> These must be her that is highly inconvenient. This is making me hungry. That's it. Grow up strong. Let's make she really went all in on the mushroom thing. She's like, I got a mushroom quirk, I'm just gonna go full mushroom. And her name is Mushroom. Her quirk name is Mushroom, yeah. I know I'm like frequently underestimating the power that these quirks have, but what are the extensions of that besides growing mushrooms? I guess she could like kill you. <laughs> like she could just grow mushrooms on your face. Up first is Kuro Iro. He's gonna hijack Dark Shadow. The other team will send Tokoyama Pretty solid plan to work for us as part of their initial reconnaissance. Looking forward to what office water dispenser has to offer. Oh yeah, there he is. Wait, is this like a comic panel? Is that what it is? Comic. Hero name, Comic Man. He makes sound effects and onomatopoeia in comics come to life. Interesting. I feel like you get along well with Cementos. So this class 1B team is really adept at like creating material. They're just blasting out mushrooms and word rocks and all manner of things. And I'm sure big fists coming up too, which makes it sort of an interesting challenge for, for Momo, who also is a material creation quirk, except with way more versatility. What do you do about this if you're Momo? How do you stop this just like onslaught of stuff coming at you? Was that their plan from the start? The wall her in? We cut off the brain. Now I just have to defeat Now she just directly attacks Momo. And this is sort of Momo's weakness, right? She struggled with this in the past. Direct hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hand-to-hand -hand combat! See what I did there? <laughs> big fist! Speaking of hands. Her hands get huge when she big. attacks. The bigger her fist, the bigger the punch it packs. Obviously. Makes sense. I don't give you time to plan anything! She's getting quicker at reacting. Gotta stay on the offensive. I learned that from watching her at right, the sports Right, right, right. This, this does take I'm it back. If she has so many callbacks. Pick in this season so far. This really does feel deliberate. This does feel like sort of picking up something that we haven't seen for a while in this whole school exercise training arc. This show does such a great job of making everything come back again and having all these details be important. Brute strength is the key! Brute strength is the key, you say. Can't see any limitations with that idea. No one's ever gotten that wrong in anime. If Yayorozu was separated because they feared her planning, then they might have misjudged her. Huh? Yayorozu! You've got a plan, don't you? Speaking of, like, callbacks, this was a big turning point for her after the, the tournament. You had two votes, remember? One of those votes was mine. <laughs> yeah, such a great moment. Yeah, Kendra's really brute forcing it right now. You've got it wrong. The truth is that I'm actually still the inexperienced fool. <laughs> That's sweet. She should be able to create a path that will lead her to victory. I love this Momo, Momo shine from Todoroki. It's sort of excellent. He's always you can do this. seen her her strengths. Yeah, she has the ability. She just gets out of her own way. I held you at bay so I could buy time. Is she gonna shoot her with a cannon? <laughs> that's pretty. That's a lot. Well, it was nice knowing Kendo. She was a fun character while she was alive. Yeah, I mean he's still around. Can't stop twinkling. <laughs> My God, I just realized I have to say that every time they want to refer to his hero name. That's so. It just gets better and better. <laughs> That's just Invisible Girl, we've all gotten used to her. This will be the end. We need a plan to pull ourselves together. God, that mushroom quirk is mildly irritating. Is she insane? Who's she trying to go with that? That's what I said, yeah. Her really likes her cannons. I don't think like she's gonna shoot Kendo though. She's got other plans for it. Or it's a misdirect. She wasn't aiming at the wall! What did she just what shoot? She that shooting? wasn't that wasn't the cannon. Cannonball. In order for us to win. What'd she have up her sleeve? Yeah, Hiroshi's lucky bag. What's in the bag? I managed to catch the guy. Twinkles. He's, <laughs> He's not twinkling very brightly right now. I'm counting on you for the other two toadstools. All the way mushroom, I can't this girl. I impressed her. Oh? <laughs> Can love bloom on the battlefield? Thermal goggles. Much easier to locate our enemies when I have these. Nice support item. Now when I stare For darkness. the abyss, the abyss stares back at me. Okay. <laughs> Lucky bad, what is this? Ah, she gave him thermal goggles. Got it. And then like mushroom killer. 
Yeah, so it seems a pretty clear theme has emerged from this Class 1B approach, which is sort of brute forcing it. It is a common mistake. You know, you can forgive them. They would know the limitations of that if they had experience. <laughs> I'm just going to keep trashing on 1B for the entirety of this Class 1A sweep in this exercise. And I'm the one after you! Do it, Invisible Girl. <laughs> I'm not well, there you go! This is, this is oddly exciting that Invisible Girl's kicking ass. Hell yeah! Five seasons worth of pent up uselessness. According to Hawks, <laughs> speed can easily win against strength. As can brains. See, they've known that if they had <laughs> experience. <laughs> Black Abyss Sabbath, damn. Me! Is it darkness that you're searching for? <laughs> Whoa. What did I tell you about the Abyss? He's turned the tables! They couldn't have done it without Yao Momo's items. <laughs> Hagakari's doing awesome too! Yeah, yeah. Deku, notice an invisible girl. Look at that. Take these two prisoners to- <coughs> Oh, she's- oh, she's killing him. She's killing him. She's- she's doing it. She can kill! So I made sure to Her keep it hidden away too. until now. <laughs> I'd be such a bad shroom if I didn't use it when we were about to- This- go. this is crossing a- a line? No? That's little schizophilum commune. This is deadly. Did you think we'd hold back because this is just training? You stupid bird. <laughs> oh, I did not think he was gonna say bird there, but alright. It's like a funny ghost that punches really hard! How does it feel to be the first person to <laughs> lose to an invisible girl? <laughs> did she just grab invisible girl? That's impressive. Well, I knocked her out, but not before she got me. We were kind of stuck together. Oh, that's weird. She's still carrying the cannon. Yeah. Did we just lose? Hey, please don't die. Did we just lose? You really pulled out the big guns, Komari. If I hadn't, we would have lost the round. We sure lucked out today. No, my sweep is ruined. No, no, ask. No, this is an asterisk situation. They didn't. They didn't win. You're not allowed to kill. Class one. I didn't know the gloves were off. Like, we didn't know we were allowed to kill. So that's not fair. Dumbledore, save us. Remove the points from Slytherin. That might happen. Actually, let's let's see. Luck has nothing to do with it. It was all Kendo's plan. All right. And murderous intent. Yeah, you, Rosu. I hope you don't get discouraged by this result. Oh yeah, sort of worse for her, right? But Tokoyami got to use his new move. Why is everyone so damn happy? I'm pissed. <laughs> it's obvious that everyone has improved. There's no doubt about it. With every step, these kids get... No! Ten points from Slytherin. Ten points from... Whatever. Poor kid is where I'm impressed this showing why. This is gonna be uh, ridiculous! Seriously! It hurts. I was fine with this guy's commentary so until I lost. It just stings now. Not a good feeling. <laughs> I do not accept my loss. I do not accept that I was wrong. <laughs> I think some key lines were crossed. The Invisible Girl, you know, coming so close, so close to having a really great episode and a victory for once, but no, couldn't have that. I'm not exactly sure what the, the takeaway from this episode is, like, other than what Deku said about, like, everyone improved and we're all doing our best. Because I thought they were doing something with Momo and, like, strategizing over brute force and incorporating the lessons they learned from actual real-world experience, but the fight does sort of seem to come down to luck, ultimately. Luck and one evil mushroom girl. I mean, I will say, not specific to this episode, but to this arc as a whole, I do know that in, in My Hero Academia form, this is gonna be really important later, all of this. This, once again, is a chance to really set up these characters and learn who they are and what they can do so that it, it will mean something in the future when they're really important. And it's doing a great job of that so far. I mean, I joked about how there's just too many of Class 1B and I'm never gonna learn all of them, but there's no way I'm gonna forget any of them. After each exercise, I'm left with a pretty distinct feeling about who they are. I'm not gonna remember their names, but I will remember their quirks. I will have a general feeling about their character as well, for a lot of them at least. So thinking like long-term perspective, this is only their first year of high school. You figure they're gonna do four or three? Is it in Japan? I don't remember. There's just so much room for this to be important. It's gonna be important. And it's just fun. It's just back to basics. Good old fashioned My Hero Academia school exercises with life lessons. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when we completely delete this loss from our memory and we continue our, our streak of class 1A being unbeaten. Unbeaten by class 1B.